Hello everyone, it's me, the Cannabis Reviewer. I'm back for another exciting week of GROW. In today's video, we are going to be making our 5th week veg nutrient mix. We're going to be using all of these ingredients that you can't hardly see. That might be better. Can't see the bottom one. Never can see the bottom one. So it's a recharge. And we're going to be doing this based off of this Fox Farm schedule over here. I don't hardly have any room anymore. Everything going on. Uh, right here, we're going to follow this schedule. And this is the Fox Farm soil feeding schedule. And uh, we're going to make today, we're going to make the fifth week veg. So what we're actually going to do is we're going to go off the fourth week right here. We're going to use Big Bloom and Grow Big. We're going to use, and I'm going to mix it up a little bit. I'm going to use both Kangaroots and Micro Brew for the first time since I actually haven't used them at all yet. It's just been straight water. Um, and that's pretty much it. And of course, we all, I'll add the Cow Mag to it that, that I always add. <clears throat> Cow Mag Plus. Real Growers Recharge as well. So, if you haven't seen my channel before what I do is I transcode it right here onto my whiteboard and we're gonna make six gallons this time we're making more of this this go around so all of these numbers have to be multiplied by six to get the numbers we got there I've already labeled this the containers so we should be good for that and I had to get a new box a new container so we're going to fill it up there, then we'll add it and we'll stir it and it'll be interesting because we'll be able to see what we're doing. It's a much bigger container. So we'll go ahead and start by adding the six gallons of reverse osmosis water and we'll do that starting right now. All right, six gallons. pull this back actually just a little bit more so we can see what the hell we're doing here so we're at six gallons and uh, straighten this back up the cool part about this is you will be able to see you will be able to see um, the, the colors as they go in right let's start right now we'll start with 90 milligrams of Grow big. Sorry, 90 milliliters of grow big. I'm just going to back it up. I think it's too close. We'll just do it like this. Y'all can see it. And always make sure that you shake it up real good and get all the good nutrients out of it. Get it all mixed up. Here we go, 90. The tape sure makes it really nice. There we go, first one in. And with this one, since it's messy, I always grab that and rinse it out just a little bit to help it out. Okay, now we gotta stir it. Grab my stirring stick. can really really see it now all the beautiful colors and how it gets all mixed up there we go first one down now we're gonna go grow big another 90 of this gonna hit it hard that right up front down put these up as we use them stir it up real good yeah we're gonna end up using probably a whole gallon per plant that's probably what's gonna happen okay now we're gonna do 
kangaroo roots. We're only gonna do 15 milliliter of this, so not a lot of this. There we go. Small amount. A little bit goes a long way. Stir it up again. Nice, Fox Farm soil, Fox Farm ingredients. Micro brew. Shake it up, another 15 of this. Like I said, I'm mixing it up a little bit from normal by adding both of these up front. We'll kickstart it that way. And then that'll add a little bit of microbial support right up front, which will be good. And uh, hopefully it'll help, it help everything work out just fine. Stir it up really, really good. All right, cow mag is next. Shake it up real good. There it is. 30 milliliters of cow mag. See if I can get this to pour proper and be in the way. There we go, cow mag in. We're just now down to uh, basically the real growers recharge. Clean this off, put it up here. Do a nice big stir. Put that cow mag in there real good. All right, and then last but not least is the real growers recharge. And we're gonna need about three teaspoons. So what we'll do is we'll do this. This is two and a half if you just do it like level. So we're gonna put a whole bunch in. Make it like scoop a heaping amount. There we go. There it goes. That's all we really need. Get that mixed up here in a minute. Put this up. This will darken it up for sure. Nice and mixed up, nice and dark, ready to go. Okay, now comes the fun part, and that's figuring out the uh, pH. And I think what we'll have to do here is, uh, I'll come back, we'll get this set up, I'll come back and we'll do our pH real quick. We're back. Just got done calibrating and cleaning this pH meter so it should work pretty darn good. I am going to take one of these uh, jars though and uh, fill it up with a little reverse osmosis just to rinse out the the meter. I try, try to do that every time. And let's go ahead and get started. What do you think? Turn it on. It's already been shaken. Let's see what we get. And can I actually see anything? Or could you guys actually see anything? I think you can. We're at 
I think we're not even gonna add anything to that. We're gonna stick with 5.8, call it good enough. I don't know if you think you guys can see that. 5.8, 5.7, we're right at the edge. We're gonna leave it there for now and uh, call it good enough. And uh, and we'll just call it good, you know? Hell with it. We'll write that down. That's the thing I gotta do here. So 5.8, 5.7, 5.8, 5.7. Zero. And now the EC, which isn't that big a deal, but I usually will go ahead and and uh, I'll go ahead and measure it anyway. It's more important uh, when you're doing soil slurry than it is anything else. So we got here. And you know, you zoom in on that again. There we go. 2.0, oh ho ho, yep, 2.0. Okay, that's all we need to know is that it's 2.0. Rinse it out again, wipe it off real good, shake it off real good, put it away, let it dry. We're gonna back this up. I am knocking my lights over. It's just awesome stuff. All kinds of stuff going wrong here. Let's go ahead and write this down, 2.0. I'll put this into my spreadsheet. That way we know, especially now that we're using more uh, of this uh, liquid nutrient mix. We got six gallons of it. That's a lot more than we normally do. We usually do four, so it's a couple of extra gallons. So that's important for sure. Let's go ahead and Plug in the, the stones here, the air pump is what I would call it, I guess. And let's get them put in there real quick. Get this aeration going on for about 10, 15 minutes and then we'll stir it again. And it'll be just fine. There it is. We'll let that do its thing. So first, feeding first real feeding is about to come up using the fox farm soil feeding schedule nutrient mix for the fifth week of veg we have done six gallons we've done big bloom grow big kangaroo roots micro brew cow mag plus and real growers recharge they let they balanced out between five seven five point eight which is on the lower edge and i'm not gonna mess with it for the first time we're just gonna hit it good with that and we still got lime and stuff in the soil that'll help balance that pH anyway. And the pH tends to run high through the growth, so we're not too worried about that. Uh, EC was 2.0, which is fine. Really doesn't matter too much. But uh, this is it. This is how we do it. Come back, check out the next video where I'll feed, the, feed my plants. And you can watch that. This is the Cannabis Reviewer. I appreciate you guys coming and watching my channel. Please subscribe, if you will, that would be great. Uh, leave a comment below if you got something to say, that'd be great too. Uh, keep coming back every, every week because I got new content being posted on YouTube. This is the Cannabis Reviewer. And as I always say, happy smoking.